Hi there, this is Kumiga, and you are listening to For Real 2011 Edition Part 2 on Acha's Record Company, available at Track Source right now. Yay! So today I will be making some truffle chocolate. In this tutorial, I will be sharing the basic and creative versions. First, I will be making some ganache. And then I will show you how to make the coating. Then we will work on decoration. Let's get started! These are what you need for the milk chocolate ganache. These are one quarter of vanilla bean. And for white chocolate ganache. Chocolate is very sensitive to temperature and humidity. Please keep the chocolate in a container with the lid on it. And chocolate of your choice for coating. And you may want to have quite a few small spoons, forks, and cups. Place a bowl over warm water. Place shredded chocolate inside the bowl. Stir from the center to melt the chocolate using a spatula. Please do not melt the chocolate at high heat but always at low heat. Once the chocolate is melt, place it on the side. Place a separate bowl over warm water and add heavy cream, vanilla beans, and microwave glutinous starch syrup. Glutinous starch syrup helps the milk chocolate get solidified than without. Mix it and warm it up until it reaches the body temperature. Gradually filter and add cream mixture into milk chocolate. The amount of heavy cream required for chocolate varies based on manufacture, so it is important you add the cream gradually until it becomes nice and smooth. You can add some cream until it reaches the shininess and the texture like this. Then add melt butter into it and mix well. Gradually add liquor of your preference. My recommendation is to add 3 quarter of liquor per 200 gram of chocolate. Mix well. You may want to have your mixture this thickness like a ribbon when lifted up. Transfer the ganache into a flat plate. Oh sorry guys, I wanted to put some cinnamon into this ganache because... You will know what I mean later. After mixing the ganache, spread it evenly and leave it at room temperature for 15 to 30 minutes. Once the ganache becomes hard like this, it's time to put it all in an icing bag. Here's how I put the ganache into my icing bag. Place a cooking sheet over a flat plate and squeeze the ganache into the size you want for your ganache to be. Ta-da! I'm going to put them in the fridge for 15 minutes to half an hour. In 15 minutes, check to see the ganache became hard enough to shape. Then now you will need to have some salam lap, fold it into half, and place it on your palm. Place the ganache on salam lap. Atama no tsuno wa Dragon Quest no slime mitai na de tsubuchaimashita. And here it is, you have a bowl now. Put the salad up and keep it in the freezer for 30 minutes to 1 hour. As for fried chocolate ganache, follow everything you have done for milk chocolate but no butter but more cream. Here's how you can get creative with your white chocolate ganache. Using a hand mixer with the sharp knife on it, I'm going to crush some pistachios. And don't forget to place a piece of cloth on top of the container. Let's crush them. Let's go! Wow, that was quick! So here, I added 20 grams of pistachios into my 200 grams of white chocolate ganache. And I added a little bit of sea salt in it. Mix well. And here's some creative ideas that I have for making different ganache flavors. The remaining liquor. <sighs> so good. Let me now show you how to make the coating for the truffle chocolate. Melt the chocolate over warm water. The temperature of the chocolate can get up to 50 Celsius. Bring the whole bowl and cool it down until 27 Celsius. 
Then place the bowl over to the warm water and mix well until the chocolate reaches 32 Celsius. And these are what I use to color my coating chocolate. Purple pumpkin powder, really fine green tea powder, and guess what? Pumpkin powder. Let me now show you how to coat the truffle ganache. Place the ganache bowl into the coating chocolate. Coat the ganache gently using a fork. Lift it up and get rid of excess coating chocolate. And please make sure to get rid of the chocolate at the bottom of the fork. Place the bowl on almond foil and pull your fork really quickly. And let me show you how to do it again. Towards the end of using up the coating chocolate in a cup, you might not get the nice smooth coating. In such case, don't be afraid to coat the truffle using shredded coconut. Likewise, you may use some cocoa or powdered sugar. From here, let me show you some of my creative versions. Happy holidays to you, Koriaku Makumi girl! Yay! Yay! Thank you so much! Okay, which one? So good. Mm. <laughs> Do I look better now? Thank you, Kumika. I'm gonna try this one. It reminds me of the drink that I like to drink. Kalua milk, is it? Mm, really nice. I like it. The loose one, I'm gonna try. Inside the ganache, it's white chocolate and it's got some strawberry things. Is it strawberry? Yes, it is. Wow. It's kind of like an elegant version of a, what do you call those? Um, small chocolate, you know? It's really good. You mean chill out chocolate? Kumiga, because you have two different kind of um, chocolate in the coating, and the ganache with the white chocolate. This one was really exciting, you know? It's like so much flavors in my mouth. Good job! Okay, I'm gonna try the flower one. Mm. Mm. 
Oh, this one's so fun! Do I? <laughs> wow! Oh my goodness! You know, let me tell you. You have dark chocolate on the bottom, and you have milk chocolate ganache, and on top you have yellowish white chocolate. But what is it? It's pumpkin white chocolate. Wow, pumpkin! That's why I put some cinnamon in my milk ganache. You smart! <laughs> wow, good job! Thanks! Mm. Okay. Can I try one more? Sure you can! Thanks! Word! Mm. Mm. The ganache of this chocolate is like so soft! Mm. Smells so good! What is it, Kamigur? It's pistachio ganache with Godiva white chocolate liqueur. Mmm. Look, Kamigur, you did a good job. Mmm. Smells so good. Uh, this is the last one for me, so I need to enjoy it. Mm. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and kumika.com And remember about the Christmas video project? Send some to me! Thank you! Please also comment how you would decorate the truffle chocolate yourself or which one was your favorite truffle chocolate. It would be nice if you can share your creative ideas on how to decorate your truffles.